Today marks one year since the militant group Hamas attacked a music festival in Israel. And today, families and friends honored their loved ones at the memorial site. It was a year ago when militants stormed into Israel during a surprise attack, killing nearly 1,200 people, mostly civilians. Close to 250 people also abducted, with many of them still being held captive today and feared dead. The attack sparked a war in Gaza that tonight remains ongoing. Here in San Antonio, the Jewish community coming together at Temple Bethel for a memorial to commemorate the lives that have been lost since that very attack. News for San Antonio, Stephanie Esquivel has more on a local family that is closely watching the conflict there in the Middle East. Stephanie. Well, Jonathan, the Jewish Federation of San Antonio tells me this year has been nothing short of difficult. The memorial ceremony at Temple Bethel will start in just minutes. This is a live look right now, and many people there have friends and family in Israel, including the Baryadin family. Last year, I was the first to tell you about Zev Baryadin, who was born and raised in San Antonio, and following that attack on October 7th, Zev took the first flight to Israel to fight for the Israel Defense Forces as a lone soldier. Tonight, Zev Baryadin is back in San Antonio, safe and sound with his family. I spoke to Zev's father, Ruben, who tells me Zev stayed in Israel fighting with his troop for a few months until he felt it was time to return home to the Alamo city. Since Iran has attacked Israel, Ruben says Zev has considered going back to Israel to fight on the front lines again. For now, Zev will not be returning to Israel, but it's not completely ruled out because Zev is still very much involved with his troop. We're very supportive of, of, of his, uh, his decision. Uh, he's in touch with his uh, his uh, his army buddies, his squad. Uh, he keeps in touch with the news, and uh, and we're all you know our hearts are, are are in Israel. You know, hoping for the war to come to an end. Zeph's family and the Jewish Federation of San Antonio have also raised more than $4 million to send back to Israel to help families who have been affected. Today, the Jewish Federation of San Antonio said the biggest need in the Jewish community is emotional and moral support. In studio, Stephanie Esquivel, News 4, San Antonio. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more from News 4 San Antonio, make sure you like and subscribe.